What's going on YouTube? We're back at it with another react to Little Karibo. We watched his whole entire series, the Yu-Gi-Oh! series, but he has a new one popping off. Episode 86, Joey vs. The Volcano. So all credibility goes to Little Karibo. Like, sub, all that stuff. Check his page out. And we're going to get into this. Oh my God. It's been a minute. Out here doing announcements for a stadium full of people who are pissed off. They tickets, all the so I haven't I've like watched the first 30 seconds of this I haven't seen it yet I'm like super hype about it Joey vs the volcano uh yeah oh my god he's got me out here doing announcements for a stadium full of people who are pissed off because they bought tickets expecting all the duels to happen in the arena but of course the duels aren't happening in the arena They're or are the duels happening Yo, Joey kills me, man. Look at these quarter finalists. First up, it's Mighty Max Size Prodigy Leon Wilson. Mighty Max Size. One of the Ethan Sharks. <laughs> and before you ask, no, this duel will not take place within the arena. I know. I I know. I'm sorry. I agree with you, folks. Please stop setting fire to things. <laughs> Fucking throw a bottle at him. <laughs> It'll ruin the tournament for everyone. Especially the folks who are on fire. So what? I gotta duel these guys and then I win? Man, that's gonna be a cinch. They're all tiny and square shaped. Line them up, I'll knock them down like a bunch of dominoes. What a moron. Joey, you remember how we talked about how you shouldn't take everything on TV so literally? Yeah, man. One time I was watching TV and they had a report on the weather. Like that's a real thing. By the way, that sick freak guy you're dueling is right over there. I bet he thinks rain is real. <laughs> What the fuck, Tristan? Man. <laughs> Call him a dumbass, too. <laughs> He's like a fucking second grader. Oh my god. Should stop yelling names of shapes at the small child. I'm not done, Duke. Equilateral triangle. <laughs> Okay, now I'm done. The only real weather report is whether or not Joey's gonna flunk this duel. Tristan, you are giving me Brooklyn anxiety. <laughs> He's about the Brooklyn, Brooklyn rage. Look at me. Ah, I need more female friends. Sadly, I am in Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, guys, tournament's back on. Hey, the monkey man, you're gonna want to mop that up. Everyone else, follow me, and try not to step in any of that. Hey, Pinkie Pie, looking forward to dueling you. You know, this is only the second time I've challenged the main antagonist of a story arc. Last time it happened, I almost died, but I got better. Anyway, Shake, hmm, that's funny. Who remembers when Joey almost died? I remember when Joey almost died. Jeez, bro. <laughs> I didn't realize Abe's pet monkey was also entered into the tournament. Huh, wonder what he meant by that. Eight and a half Wait seconds a later. <laughs> you did not just call me a monkey. Only Kaiba gets to do that. He has special privileges. Yeah, I believe that is called poopy shipping. It's puppy shipping, man. Puppy shipping. The only thing poopy around here are your chances of beating me. Sure, impertinent. I look forward to pulling random cards out of a big pile of my cards to get rid of your cards and make the numbers <laughs> next to your face go <laughs> and say bloop because there are no more numbers. <laughs> Yo, that's so funny. Oh my god, with the with the point counter and everything making the noise. What a god. I imagine you could count them. I know plenty of numbers, man. Two. Fourteen. Starts popping off with number Jesus, Joey. Just stop this. <laughs> Kunai with chain. Kunai with yeah, chain. <laughs> I can feel your nipples right through your jacket, you so tense. But That's the weird. Time, Tristan, stop going right to my nipples. Yeah, Tristan. I don't want to know how I feel. Step well, back a little bit, bro. Pick some jabroni ass. <laughs> don't forget to post hashtag Becky Sweet when talking about my duel, okay? They changed her voice. Someone else is doing her voice right now. Carlos Chat? Jayas doesn't understand. She's in a 
I'm not sure what any of those words are, but absolutely. Hey guys, there's It's not part of the Twitch here. community. <laughs> what a guy. Be like, yo, just get off me, bro. Get off me. Stop touching me, man. <laughs> no way. They're getting their kicks via a Grand Prix fix? Right. My the Grand Prix fix. Earlier by analyzing all the clues. Mokuba, I just got an email that says, Lol, I hacked your tournament. Sucks to be you. And it's from Grand Prix contestant at AOL.com. That could... You know what's funny about that? This is like after the whole thing that happened with, uh, what is it? The AOGs for Apex. Anybody. <laughs> except Jelly, I mean. Yes. Anybody except Joey. Someone in this tournament is trying to make a fool out of me. I'm surprised they didn't mention Tristan as well. They're both dumb as rocks. <laughs> I bet it was Sherlock Holmes, that motherfucker. He and I have been enemies ever since he entered the public domain and I could no longer purchase the rights to his likeness. Mokuba, keep an eye on Sherlock Holmes, that motherfucker. <laughs> oh, and everyone else. Yo, Kaibo, relax, bro. Someone's trying to sabotage the entire event. So, guys, please let me know immediately if you see anything remotely strange, no matter how trivial. I saw something strange. Tristan, is it my hair? <laughs> okay, but if you see anything weird that isn't Yugi's hair, let me know. You know, it would probably look way more badass if you took that front bang and propped it up like a cool lightning bolt or something. <laughs> hey, please let me have my thing. Now that we've successfully doused all... Trying to get him to be like him still. <laughs> the flames, it's time to Little Karibo kills me, man. You're a Grand Corp. <laughs> oh, this is also coming off of the Kaiba Cup from uh, Duel Links. Kaiba Corp would like to remind you that ghosts and supernatural entities are not real. So the scariest thing about this attraction is how many OSHA violations we made building it. OSHA the violations? <laughs> going up against a character whose name you'd have to Google to remember. And last but not least, in the depths of a volcano, Zikri von Schroeder takes on the highly respected veteran duelist, Joey Wheeler. <laughs> <laughs> It's a small world after all, right? What a guy. <laughs> oh, man. oh, hey, man. Fancy seeing you here. I'm totally not bothered about the stuff that you said earlier. Not thinking about it constantly. Definitely not eating away at me from the inside. Yo, what's up with Joey's ear? You guys see that? Hold up. Let me see. His ear is, like, not even connected. It doesn't even look like it's connected to his head. It's just floating there. <laughs> thinking about it constantly. Definitely not eating away at me from the inside. Oh, hey, my rowdy friends are here. Duke's been holding in a really funny joke since the start of the ride. Okay, take it away, Duke. This room is the second hottest room I've ever been in. Let me guess, the hottest room was your bedroom, right? The hottest room. Yeah, like I said. Was my bedroom. What a guy. Oh, oh what a surprise. Ha ha ha. With this many screens. Man, that's so fucking corny. And when I've watched all the Everybody's just shuffling cards in every screen. God, I need more hobbies. All right, Siegfried, I hope you're ready. Because Lady Luck and Joey Wheeler have been going steady since 1996. So let me just take a look at my opening hand here and oh, shh. <laughs> Mulligan. Surely this will work. I play one card face down and end my toy. That's all he's gonna do? You heard him. He ended his toy. All he can do. do we all know tail. about the brick. God, I hope you're watching again, Herr Kaiba. Oh, who am I kidding? Just know what it's your world. You hate more than Siegfried von Schroeder. <laughs> There's nobody I hate. I think he's gonna say Joey Wheeler. I think he hates either Joey Wheeler or Yugi the most. I think mostly Joey. More in the world than that man, Sherlock Holmes. Oh, Sherlock Holmes. Mother. I was awkward. That was weird oh, to say. No. The computer is suddenly showing me meaningless charts and graphs. This meaningless. Is exactly what happens when someone hacks things. <laughs> hey, Bob is shooting all over the place. Why did they put actual 
volcano stuff in this theme park, man. Somebody must have hacked the volcano. So should we? Yo, if that was real, honestly, they wouldn't be able to duel there. They'd get cooked. You'd get cooked, bro. Call off the duel. Cartoon I'll logic. See what happens. It'll be fun. You know, I was really hoping I'd be dueling Rex and Weevil. It would have made for some really funny spank the monkey jokes. <laughs> What's that, little fella? Oh, yeah, Maxie. Good call. Yo. Yo. I'd be like, guy, you're getting assistant help right there. What the hell is this? Are you dueling or is the monkey dueling? What's happening? And yo, if it's the monkey dueling for him all the time, the monkey should be the duelist. <laughs> Secret genius monkey out here just dueling mamma jammas and taking house. I hate to admit it, but I never googled your name, so I'm not sure what to call you. Don't take gold now, it's way less awkward. Mr. So Tyler, the hacking has caused the tournament to suck even more than it already did. What are your orders, sir? I'm trying to do my laundry. Can this wait? <laughs> Hang on. Hacking. My tournament. Suck. Those words remind me of a person I met a long time ago, back when I was cute as sh**. <laughs> to meet you, Mr. Kaiba. I'm sure your sons will get along well with my own boy. He's a wide awake nightmare. Oh, I just love being raised by parents who love me, don't you guys? Isn't that neat? Having parents, y'all? It was the worst birthday party I ever had. Yo, yeah, if he was like no that, bro. <laughs> you know what I love even more than the parents thing? Hacking. This guy. <laughs> <laughs> I love hacking, hacking. What a Ooh, guy. Look, everyone. I have hacked the lights, so now they are flickering. Look how they flicker. I Man. I would be pissed talking to someone like that. Bruh. Bruh, you gotta tone that shit down, man. <laughs> Bet you are very impressed that I can do this with the lights. What in blazes is going on? <clears throat> oh, attention, duelists. My hair believes that the lighting system for the building has been hacked. But that's stupid. Oh, only a child would find that impressive. Like a, like a really dumb child. <laughs> it was the most impressive thing I'd ever seen. It's only my flashback wasn't filmed in black and white. Only a dumb child find that impressive. Fucking Kaiba. Oh my god. Wow. This guy's the shit. <laughs> I'd be able to recognize whoever that was. Now I equip my Brigadier of Landstar with Landstar Shot. Not only does it give my monster a boost of 600 attack points, it also makes for a sick reference to Except Kamen Rider. It says 500 on the side, though. Joey would stop talking about Kamen Rider. Joey has passed. Hold on. Not only does it give my monster a boost of 600 attack points. It says 600, but it says 500 on the side. What do you talk about, Joey? Attack points. It also makes for a sick reference to Kamen Rider Zoldak. God, I wish Joey would stop talking about Kamen Rider. Joey, <laughs> just watch his ass. He's not taking Siegfried nearly seriously enough. Oh, come on. You are not that much taller than me. Who is animating this episode? Allow me. <laughs> I hate difference. <laughs> First up, it's Sporty Valkyrie. She likes long vlogs on the beach or trying up a gun. Then we have Porsche Valkyrie. Jinzo's gone. Lots of money and is fashionable, and she also loves attacking your life points directly. And thirdly, let me guess, Baby Valkyrie? Nine? I mean, yeah. All these Valkyries and stuff. Oh snap, Joey's about to play spell card. Your attacks didn't wipe out my remaining life points, because I got me a Torina from Yakuza like a dragon. <laughs> God, I wish Joey would stop talking about Yakuza. Since that's the case, I end my turn and my Valkyries must return to the safety of my deck. That's right, ladies. Daddy Siegfried's got you. You are so warm in mine hands. Oh my god, this guy talks to his cards? That's so weird. Isn't that... Really, Yugi? <laughs> right, Invisible Pharaoh, I talk to all the time inside the triangle I hang from my neck by a chain. Yeah, that's a <laughs> freaky dinky. Status report. Sir, we've isolated the virus and rebuilt the mainframe hard drive, so long as the firewall holds steady, we should be... <laughs> okay. None of those words make any sense in this context, man. Are you just making sh Yo, looks like Kaiba's wearing a helmet. Look how big his hair is. Like, what's going on there? Bruh. 
whoever did the new animations buckled quite a bit, I ain't gonna lie. I'm a technical genius, and none of the stuff you're saying is even real. It's like you're saying lines written by someone who has no clue how any of this works. Try describing it in terms of card game mechanics. No, uh, the, uh, we have attacked the virus's life points directly, and it is currently unable to fight back because we activated swords of revealing light. Ta oh, why didn't you just say so in the first place, idiot? The only way how he understands anything is through dual reference. Do a monster references. The damages and the expenses were not really on. You hear that? There's a squeak. Roland, I don't know how, but they hacked my chair. <laughs> you don't hear that? It's hacked. Uh, Yo, Kaiba needs to calm down, bro. Not everything's getting hacked on you, Doc. Unhack it. Now. <laughs> Are you gonna get off the chair first? No. And now I activate Nibelung's ring. You did what with a nipple ring? Now the <laughs> ring is upon your swordsman's finger. He cannot attack. Not that I was worried about shitty little swordsman of Lanstar. I swear, it's like a million degrees in this room, and yet his spit still somehow keeps hitting me in the face from over there. Meet my three goddesses. Blossom. Bubbles. Buttercup. <laughs> they are not fighting crime and support. Fucking Powerpuff Girls reference. Jesus. <laughs> but she's a female. They give me the ability to dictate the order of your next three cards and force you to set one face down. Now, using Poodles' effect, if I guess what kind of cards that is, it is removed from play. And gee, I have no idea what it could be, except I know exactly what it is. It is a monster! Oh, crap. There goes Poodles. Yeah, but anybody could say, oh, it's a monster card. Technically, you'd be correct. one of Joey's all-time best cards! Like, I don't know how, man, I don't know. The anime was weird with that, where you... Did, like they didn't have to specify because technically all the oh it's a monster card any monster you were to play but like what kind of monster is it actually Guys, did Joey's it was a beast warrior you should be oh a beast warrior but maybe that's overthinking it i don't know it's highly unreliable seriously is it just me what's wrong with his deck and now say goodbye to your other face down monster yeah joey's deck is straight bricked like <laughs> Yo, talk about a plot. Oh, come on, Jeez. Man, gablins. Those gablins were one day away from retirement. All right, Ziggy, <laughs> how's this for some stardust? He's about to slide on his ops. <laughs> I activate my gacha machine to help me draw an extra card so you can't get rid of it. Aha, great. That means I get to draw another card. And it's my trusty Suzuki Samurai. Nobody will ever understand the pain I feel. <laughs> the pain of having my name be mispronounced by a young blonde Brooklyn native from Japan. Damn you, Joey Wheeler. I will get you back somehow. <laughs> Inner monologue, yo, it kills me. <laughs> Run with your deck, man. It looks like Leon Wilson turned Ethan into. Yo, even Tristan showing out. What's wrong with your deck, bro? <laughs> Shark bait. Oh, if I could have just gotten me oh. the And Rebecca Hawkins clears that one monkey guy. And don't forget to write hashtag Becky Sweet when posting about my win. That little girl just called me chat. And now that I have <laughs> gear freed your gear freed from his mortal coil, I will follow that up by playing my Schwan Maiden, which lets me bring back one Valkyrie from mine hand. Oh, hey, like Swan Princess. God, I wish Taya would stop talking about Swan Princess. Go, <laughs> no, my Valkyrie. Attack Shashashke Samurai. Shashashke. Sh sh little man with the orange vine in head. No. I have to Protects any monster with a thousand attack or less. Yeah. <laughs> How do you like that? Penny for your thoughts, Ziggy. My friend, with all the pennies you have in the world, 
You couldn't afford even the tamest of my daydreams. Oh, speaking of dreams, it's time to wake up and smell your imminent defeat. Buddy, I don't know what you're into, but I ain't smelling nobody's feet. Giant Trunade! With this card, I remove all your spells and traps from the field. Yeah, that's just a good card, except for when I activate Apple of Enlightenment! <laughs> this card allows me to draw one more card from my deck. But it also has the added bonus of making you look at her bare feet and feel really weird about it. You know what's funny? This card kind of looks like my. Hold on. Really weird about Looks like my Valentine. Like, I don't know, man. That's weird. You run it, you're running out of shapes. It would be a shame to see him fail now. Yeah, so long as Joey doesn't fall back on all his old strategies like rolling dice and using nothing but monsters, he'll be just graceful dice, skull dice, whatever this dice is, monsters. All monsters. the dice, nothing monsters. But monsters, nothing but monsters, more dice, more dice Joey, rolls. No. Think of everything you've learned since you started. This is like you're going back to square one. Sorry. No, it's funny about that. So, like, there's a show called Undergrads. And it reminds me of the one episode where they all play Risk. The one character, Gimpy, loses his cool going up against uh, the the main protagonist, Nitz. <laughs> and he freaks out and goes kamikaze. Kamikaze! And he, like, loses the game for both of them. And, like, that's, that's the road that Joey's going down, man. He's, like, stressing. Talk about a panic play. I can't hear y'all roll these rolling dice. I can't believe that guy beat me off screen. Oh, I'm so glad you said screen. Thanks to the power of random yes. ass numbers, oh. I'm able to summon my red eyes black dragon, my ace monster. Nice. It would be super humiliating if you got rid of it without breaking a sweat. He's Oopsie. about to. It would appear I've equipped my Brunhilda with enchanted sword not hung, increasing its strength which allowing it to destroy your dragon monster without even attacking. Oh, come on, man. Forget about not even breaking a sweat, just not even attacking. There you go, bud. <laughs> At least break a sweat. Trust me, Vila. If I did, it was only because of the heat. Now I activate Rainbow Bridge Bifrost. Rainbow Bridge Bifrost? What does that do? I know a lot of buys, but Frost isn't one of them. <laughs> for every monster that has been removed from play, my cool heal What? 500 attack. I hope you're ready to hear your life points go. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best. That's the best. I love that. That's fucking hilarious. I hope you're ready to hear your life points go. <laughs> <laughs> and say, whoop. Brunhilda, show them why they call you scary Valkyrie. Oh, that's that. <laughs> uh, my life points. <laughs> <laughs> would stop talking about his life points. Tristan, shut the fuck up. <laughs> you can bring the dog to the fight, but you cannot expect a fight from the dog. I'll feed the same, Joseph. A good. Everybody just keeps calling Joey a dog ever since he was wearing that fucking that dog suit. To walk away all confident <laughs> now, but I actually have no idea how to get out of here. Seriously, bro, what is up with your deck? <laughs> Point out the obvious there, Tristan. Do you need a minute? Talk to us. Hang on. I gotta roll these dice to see how I feel. <laughs> Turns out I'm angry. Wow, Joey lost in the second round. Oh, that's BS, man. Joey's a way better duelist than that. He deserves better. I mean, uh... Oh no! Someone must have hacked my brain! Uh, Mokuba, do something! It's okay to. Cobb is getting caught giving feelings for Joey, like actually appreciating Joey as a person and as a duelist, but it's like, oh wait, no. <laughs> I say Joey's a good duelist, bro. Yeah. Yeah, he really is. Never say that to his face, though. <laughs> <laughs> So, like, let me know what you guys thought about that new uh, episode episode 86 from Little Karibo, Joey vs. the Volcano. Let me know down in the comments what uh, you thought about it. Go check the video out. Leave a like. Subscribe to Little Karibo. He's, like, a genius when it comes to this shit. It's so fucking funny. It, it, like, man. <laughs>
but yeah no man i enjoyed it hope you guys enjoyed it uh until next time take it easy and if you enjoyed it like sub all that good stuff all right peace